on the keypad. So if I hit that, it's the keypad number one. Uh, and uh, it's only the numpad. Now in the streaming software that I use, which is called OBS, which I can't really show you without, we're gonna get a really weird effect here. No, that's okay. We're gonna get this, whoa, and I can't, I can't show you because it's just going to uh, uh, continue to broadcast itself. But within OBS, you can set um, auto triggers so whenever I hit the numpad number one, it will always switch to the scene that we're on right now. And if I hit numpad number two, or number three, it'll switch to Dick. And so depending on which key I press, the, the software that I use, which is free, open broadcast software, OBS, uh, it will switch to that. So there was another question. Oh, and uh, it's for audio routing, I use a program called Voice Meter Banana. That looks like this. It is exactly. Oh yeah, that's neat. That, this yes. is amazing. This is just this solved all of our audio issues when we were having it. And you can see this is my mic. This is Dick's mic. We have the desktop. We have two desktop uh, virtual inputs. So whatever comes from uh, whenever I play a video, I import it into OBS and switch to the video. It just starts to play. It'll come through this one so I can level out the sound if I want to. And then anything from my desktop. So if I play a YouTube video, it'll come through this one and I could change the sliders around. Double click that to reset it. We have a few different outputs over on this side. You could do uh, three different hardware outputs. So if I had three different headphone uh, things. So if I had a sound card, maybe the front jack of my computer, and I had an external USB uh, device, I could output video to all, or sound to all of those. And then there are two broadcasts, which are virtual outputs. And one of those is being caught by OBS. And you'll see over here, I can change where which mic gets uh, sent to. So right now my microphone is being sent to A1 which is uh, the way that I listen, which is this right here. So if I turn that down, it gets quiet for me. I get sent to A2, and you can see right now there's no voice thing happening on A2. But if I hit it, boop, uh, test, test. Oh, it's muted, so you can't, you don't see it. Uh, let's try A3, A3, there we go. We, uh, you see it, my voice pop into A3 right there. And we have this set so that whenever Dick talks, you will not go to Broadcast 2 because you're listening to Broadcast 2 on Skype. Broadcast 2 is what, you, what Skype hears. And if you were sending, if I sent you your voice to that, you'd hear an echo back. An echo back. Right. Yeah. And so here, if, I, if, I, am I, if I'm quiet and my voice meter goes away, you'll see that over here on Broadcast 2, uh, Dick's voice doesn't go. So say something, Dick. One, 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 one. There you go, and so you can see that it didn't go back to him. So that's the audio software I use to route audio around. And then finally, you were asking, how do I, how do I get the, uh, the control pad to play audio? And that is using this so software, EXP Soundboard. And with this, I, can, uh, I have hotkeys that will play various MP3s or, or files. So anytime I hit F17, it will play Chad's Crappy Corner. I'll hit it now. You know you don't need it. And then you can also set up a hotkey to stop all sounds, which is uh, a different thing I have. So if we go back to the board, this is mapped to uh, F17, which basically on a normal keyboard, you'd never be able to get to F17 because it doesn't even show up. So I don't have any fear of accidentally hitting that on an actual keyboard. And then I've mapped stop, which I think is like F 24 or something to this key right here and each of these keycaps come out and you can just uh, write whatever you want on it So I've, I've written CCC for Chad's crappy corner GW for gadget warehouse the letter is Sort of on there and stop Stop all sounds and you can see some of the notes on my other thing So before when I mentioned I don't have enough uh, room for scenes This is one of the reasons that uh, we couldn't we didn't whenever you watch live There is no advertiser lower third because I just cannot create enough scenes for uh, For another set of lower thirds on every single angle that we have on the Gizwiz. So oh my gosh, was that too complicated? <laughs> is anyone still awake? Uh, knock, so knock, knock. This is this is uh, my studio. Yeah. <laughs> so this goes into the headphone jack, 
And I hope this is not over your head. So if your sound is too loud, you, you can adjust it <laughs> individually, even though, <sighs> even though this goes into one jack, two people, two different people can listen and adjust <laughs> the volume <laughs> to what they want. <sighs> I know. Yeah, I, I know I it's uh, kind of <laughs> overwhelming, a little too techy after Chad's explanation. But anyway. So that's how we got the Gizwiz up and running uh, here. It's amazing that the that the only I didn't the only thing I bought really was the webcams, the stands that they stay on, the monocaster, uh, the wireless keyboard and mouse. I originally had a wired. What one. is that? What does that uh, caster thing cost? That I, it was actually pretty expensive because it's more of a the Genovation thing. Yeah, it's it's more of like an industry thing, so they can kind of charge a little bit more. Let me see uh, how you much. You know, I I, I think I I think it was uh it was maybe the, nine. It was above like $50. ninety bucks. Yeah, let me look. Yeah, here it is for eighty five, eighty five dollars. Eighty five. Okay. Right. Right, and they, they, they have a lot. This is the smallest one they have, uh, but they have many different boards. So this one's over $100 with tons and tons of different uh, key combinations. But I like, I, like the, the, I like the look of the small one. It doesn't take up too much space. Yeah, and it's more our speed. It does everything we need. It does everything. We don't need no stinking. We don't need no more no. stinking knobs. Not at all. We don't need no more knobs. We don't need the corn cob knob. Here on the, on the monocaster. Oh, um, no. So that was a long explanation for uh, a simple question. And okay, so Gary Howard, if you're still awake, yes. I hope you wrote down all of those programs. 